guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello my name is Sam today I filmed this look that I posted on my Instagram yesterday I asked you guys on Instagram this morning if you wanted me to film this look or my other one with the pink eye and the green eye and it was a very close call it's at right now it's at 59% for this look and 41 for the other look Anywho, I'm still going to film the other look as well, so don't worry about that. I think I'm rambling. Um, so without further ado, if you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just checking my Instagram to see what the percents are at for the poll. I asked you guys what look you want me to do today, and it's been really close. But it looks like the pink slash red glittery one is the winner at 60%. I'm still going to film the other look. Um, just not today. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that other look later this week or if you want me to do something different and then that one next week. So for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, uh, this is the look I'll be doing today. I hope this is in focus. It's a really red but kind of like a dark red with a little bit of pink glittery, super glittery look and it was super easy. I don't know how I managed. I did that look in like less than an hour is way faster than I normally do things. I just I went in there and I did it right away. Usually it takes forever for me to like think of something to do but I don't know this time was different. So that is what I'm doing today and without blabbering on anymore let's get started. I have already done my foundation, concealer, powder, contour and I'm currently baking slash preparing for future fallout. Okay, to start off this look, I'm gonna be using my Morphe 39A palette. So I'm gonna start off with this shade Vivid, and I'm gonna put this in my crease and blend it all out. I really love this brush. It is from e.l.f., so I'm not sure how much it costs, but I know it must be super cheap, but it works perfectly for like putting a um, shadow down in your crease and then blending it out because it's so fluffy but it's it's just the perfect size for me. So I'm just blending out the edges. I'm making sure to bring it in pretty far in here as well. I just remembered that when I did this look yesterday I did my eyes first before the rest of my face, so I was able to clean up the edges with a wipe. But I'm obviously not going to be able to do that this time, so I'm just going to be really careful on how far I bring it out to. Also, it doesn't matter if you get it on your lid, because we will be covering that up shortly. Alright, I'm pretty happy with how that is all blended out. The next step I wouldn't really recommend. I'm going to be using this Rodile Suede Lips. Um, it's in the shade Rodeo Drive. It's just this big, fat, creamy lip pencil. And I've been using this on my eyes for a really long time now. I never actually use this on my lips for some reason, but I always use it on my eyes as a base for red eyeshadow looks. But I would recommend not doing that because I don't know if it's eye safe or not. So I would suggest just finding a creamy red kind of like maybe a cream shadow or something to lay down on your lid. You don't even have to do this step. I just like to do this so that I make sure I get the most pigmentation out of any red eyeshadows that I use. Again, I don't recommend this, but it works for me. So I just take this literally all over my lid. Alright, now I have it in the little shape I want. That's where we'll be putting our um, red eyeshadow. I'm just gonna take a flat brush and spray it with some Fix Plus. And I'll be taking the shade Snatched. And we're basically gonna put this all over where we just put that red um, lip pencil. One, two, three, four, now that we have that red shade down, we're going to blend out the edges so that they're not so harsh. And I'm just using that first brush I used from e.l.f. Next, we're going to go in with the shade Passion. Again, using the same brush, we're just going to deepen up the crease a little bit. I'm also going to put just a little bit on my outer corner. So 
So before we do the glitter portion of this look, we're going to finish our under eyes real quick and we're basically just going to do the exact same thing we did up top. Also, I just want to mention, I don't think I made my crease and everything this deep um, as I did yesterday, but I'm kind of really digging how this looks. In fact, I would totally leave this look as it is right now without the glitter, but we're going to add glitter. So we're going to go in and take the shade Vivid and just bring that right under our eyes. I completely lied, we're not going to be doing the exact same thing to our lower lash line as we did up top because we're not using the shade, the um, the snatch shade. We're just going to go straight in with that shade Vision. Alright, so now for the fun part, we're going to do the glitter. I'm going to be using Lime Crime's Chameleon Diamond Dew. So we're just going to put this on the lid and then we'll use our finger to pat it out. Don't be afraid to like take it into your crease area because it looks freaking pretty. I love this diamond dew because the actual glitter in it is, I guess that's why it's called a chameleon because it's all like different colors, like so many different colors. And it's so pretty. I wish they would put all of that glitter in like a clear diamond dew. I don't even know if they can do that, but line crime, you need to get on it because I love this glitter. And we're just going to keep packing it on until our glitter heart is satisfied. One, two, three, four. Love your hand. Don't even like be afraid to take it in the outer corner because that as well looks super pretty. Basically we lost that red that we had like in the inner corner area. So you probably could just skip that step. Or maybe I just made this like a two in one tutorial and like that's a look, but this is also a look. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to go in with my Beauty Beam Highlight Palette. This is from Urban Decay, the Kristen Leanne collaboration. Right now this is my favorite highlight because it looks really natural but it's also super buildable. I'm also going to take this on my brow bone and my inner corner. For blush, I'm using my handy dandy Habana from Nabla Cosmetics. You guys probably know by now, this is like my favorite blush at the moment. Alright, for brows, I'm using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. My Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. And my Ico Brow Gel. I just recently rediscovered this product and I forgot that it's literally like hairspray like it's so good so first I'm gonna take my clear brow gel no 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 first I want to fill in my brows just a hair get it I'm using my brow divine in Jupiter from Nabla Cosmetics I've been saying on Instagram that this was Neptune this whole time because I used their Neptune brow pot Oops. Um, so really, I just kind of go with the flow of my hair. And I go through and brush it out a little bit. Now I'm taking my clear brow gel from Anastasia. Now I'm going to use my tinted brow gel from Anastasia. This just gives like a little color variation to my brows and makes them look a little bit fuller. And now, oh, it just exploded. My camera cut off. But I was saying this one is also a bit darker. Um, so it gives me some more color variation as well. All right, please don't hate me, but I'm using that Rodile lip pencil in my waterline. I've done this a million times. This is. If you ever have a question of what is in my waterline when it's red, it's this. It lasts so much longer than a um, actual eyeliner pencil. And this is just what I do. Again, I don't recommend this. Do it at your own risk. Blah, 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 blah. I actually think I had a little bit of a black eyeliner in my waterline yesterday. But I just remembered this little trick 
and I wanted to do it and I think it looks so cool. I really love it. It also makes like my eyes like pop a little bit more. Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I'm gonna throw on these lashes real quick. These are the Morphe Go On and Fake It lashes. I really like these lashes, but they always look kind of wonky when I put them on. Like, they don't look even for some reason. And I can't, for the life of me, figure out why. But this is what I wore yesterday, so I'm gonna put those on. Alright, to finish off this look, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna line them real quickly with this MAC lip pencil in oak. The liquid lipstick I'll be using is from Kate Makeup. Kate.co is what they are on Instagram, I think. Anyways, this is in the shade QT. I really love the formula of their liquid lipsticks. They kind of remind me sort of ish of the new Lime Crime plushies. They both have that like sticky feeling, but for some reason I kind of like that. I don't, I have no idea why. Alright guys, this look is done. Oh wait. Shoot. I totally forgot. I was going to use this Hank and Henry Beauty, the Temptress. Um, they're, they're like luster lights and the bottom is a reddish pink. And I put it on top of my lid yesterday, like on top of the glitter part. But I already have my lashes and everything on, so I'm not going to do that. It doesn't change it that much. It just adds a little bit more of a pinky hue. Super sorry I forgot about that. But this is the completed look minus that. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can hit the little bell below if you want to be notified when I post new videos. And I think you have to hit it twice in order to be notified. Don't forget to check out my Instagram as well. I'll have it on the screen somewhere right here. It would be greatly appreciated. And always let me know if there are other looks you want me to do. And also let me know if you want me to film that look from the other day. The one green glittery eye and the pink glittery eye. Let me know if you want me to do that this week or if you want me to save that for next week. You can let me know in the comments below. Send me an Instagram message. Either one is fine. Um, and I think that is all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.